Hey everyone, welcome back once again. Kevin here at Marywood, and this time, in, in uh, today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a test, or quiz, whatever you want to call it, and uh, make a question or two and put it in it. So go ahead and log into Moodle here, and uh, up here in the top right, turn editing on. Uh, if you don't see this stuff after it, your editing's off, so turning editing on you should see all this stuff here alright if we go down a little bit scroll down let's see actually we can do it right here add an activity uh, I'm gonna make a quiz and we're gonna call this one uh, we'll call it the midterm and let's see This is just where you're going to put the description, and here's where you're going to put the title for it. And if uh, you ever need to know what anything is, if you click this, these little blue circles, it tells you what all these are. As you can see, here's this one, here's this one. Ooh, this one's real surprised. Okay, so we're going to go down here, and this is when the quiz is going to be open and closed. You can set it for to be open for one day only, for one week only, um, for the whole semester, whatever you want to do. And this is how many minutes you want them to be able to take it for. Now when you do these online quizzes, set them up, uh, when you're going through them, try to figure out how long it, you think it should take the students like if you're going to give them a 30 minutes but you know that someone can get done with it in 15 minutes I'd give them like 20 minutes because the less time that they have to do anything I mean this is an error proof uh, Moodle does a lot for protection so they can't cheat but the more time you give them you know the more time they have to go grab their textbook and open it up or whatever so if if you have the smallest amount of time possible they're really not going to get an opportunity opportunity to do any of that. This is if you want them to have multiple attempts on it, how long they have to wait between it, how many questions per page, if you want the question shuffled, where this would be like question one, question two, question three. It, it could be in that order. If you shuffle, it could be like three, one, two. And that's good because their test won't be the same. If they're taking it next to each other on a computer, qu their question one won't be the other person's question one. But the only thing you have to be careful about doing that is if you have um, a question that relates to the question before it or the answer before it, because then that question's not going to be right after it if you shuffle it. Anyways, here's the attempts, how many you want them to be able to take it. I would just go with one, give them one shot, unless it's like a, this is just for fun, you know, like a review quiz or something, then give them unlimited so they can go through. This is going to make an average of their scores. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see, adaptive mode. Uh, multiple responses for a question. You can go through and read the rest of these, how you want the grade done. This is kind of an important one. After the quiz, do you want their immediate scores, or after all everyone has taken the quiz and it's and it's closed, then give all the answers and everyone scores? Uh, always make sure this one is secure window. Yes, and this is if you want to put a password on it, where the students gonna have to type in a password when they log in to take the, uh, the quiz. And I'm just going to save and return a course. Scroll down a little bit here. Where'd we put it? Right here, midterm quiz. So now that we have the quiz, uh, name of the quiz and everything set up the shell, we're going to go and make the questions. So just click on this. And if you have any questions, see I already made a couple here. Um, you can just transport them over. For example, I want these two. Well, now I have both. You can bring them over there. If 
you want them back. These are going to be the questions in the quiz, and this is where all your uh, questions that you make are going to be stored. Now we do have a disk, and if you want a copy of it, you can uh, contact us here, or come down, we'll give you a copy of it. Um, or you can type all your questions up in Word. They have to be a certain format, but then you can just export them, and they'll all come into here. Or you can make your questions into Moodle, either way. So anyways, let's add a new question. So right here, we're going to go to questions. And... Oh, I'm sorry. Categories. Nope, I was right the first time. Sorry, guys. Questions. Okay. So we're going to questions. And uh, this is going to be the type of question. Now, there's there's different types in here. But just for this, I'm going to show you how to do a matching, or not a matching, a multiple choice because it's probably the one that you're going to be using the most. So we're just going to click multiple choice. And the question name is going to be... I'm just going to put a math. This could be a math question. For some reason, that won't let me paste it. I'm going to put at zero, none. Because if they give this, they're not going to get any points at all. It's either going to be none, or 100, so either right or wrong. Okay, 5 is going to be 100. And we'll get one more answer. We'll put 8. None. Oh, let's do another answer. 2. None. Scrolling down. This is, um, if they, when they answer the question, if they get it correct. You don't have to put anything in there if you don't want. So here we go, math. Okay, you see it right here. And multiple choice is this little icon. Let's go back to quiz. And we're going to click on this math one we just made. Click here, add to the quiz. And you can see it's in here. Now if we go to preview, here we go. 2 plus 3 equals. Let's go with the correct answer 5. Now, me taking this isn't really going to show you what it's like when the class actually takes it because I am logged in as the uh, teacher and uh, you're gonna have to have your class all log in and take it and then you can see their answers so I'm gonna see if I can get into one of Kathy or Margaret's classes if they had an old one and uh, so you can see the how the people made out on the quiz you can see all the results and everything But if you wanna go back you can go to edit, questions, make more questions. This is with the word thing, you can import them in. So hopefully that's a little basic uh, thing about the uh, making a quiz and the questions. And I'll show you guys more next time, different questions and all that, different categories, how you can make them. Hope to see you guys next time.